Costa Ricans turned their presidential elections this month into a nationwide party. As Central America's most durable democracy, they celebrated the right to vote. And this year, they overwhelmingly elected Laura Chinchilla, continuing the current party's control of the nation's destiny. Chinchilla will be the first woman president in Costa Rica's history. But voters also gave evangelicals a victory by electing two of their own to Congress. Carlos Avedaño already knows the struggles that lie ahead. Challenges that have to do with principles and values. The issue of legalizing abortion, legalizing marriage between same-sex partners, reforms that would remove Christian principles from the Constitution, those will be issues in coming legislation during the next four years. The president of the Evangelical Alliance, Reinaldo Salazar, says Laura Chinchilla was the best candidate for defending moral and ethical values. Laura Chinchilla's election to the presidency of the republic is good news for the country and for the interests of the kingdom of God and the Christian principles professed by the Evangelical Church of Costa Rica. During her campaign, Chinchilla met with evangelical leaders and the Christian media gaining their support by her firm opposition to abortion and gay marriage. The socially conservative president-elect will be sworn into office on May 8th. Stan Jeter, CBN News.